for the sign of Capricorn, hello and welcome to my channel. Hi. Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards and I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So in the recent past, we have the death card. Now with this card, if you're clinging to a relationship or if you were clinging to the relationship in the past, that you were deeply unhappy in because you didn't want to let go of something that was familiar or because you just didn't want to be alone you were either or you were doing neither yourself or your partner a favor So at that time, you needed to have frank and honest discussions about problems. And if they couldn't or wouldn't make changes or you couldn't or you would not, then perhaps it was time to let it go. Not all relationships are fixable, but you should still try first. So you probably made the attempt to make it work and it just wasn't working out for you at that time. And we have this card paired with the Empress. Now this is a very potent time for love and you may have found yourself or found that men and women alike were suddenly finding you much more attractive both in terms of friendship and romance and you needed or you would have wanted to be careful with how you use that power so you didn't you didn't or you tried not to underestimate its potency so if you were single and you were looking then this was a good time when it came to love true love it was a good time for or true love could have came your way at this time now in fact if you were single and not looking for love then true love may have seeked you out anyway committed relationships often become sweeter deeper and truer under the influence of the empress when it shows up in a reading <clears throat> and that would have been in the recent past now we move on to the will of fortune which is your present now it's possible that a relationship needs to be renegotiated or is possibly no longer going to suit your needs now this does not mean that if you are in a committed relationship that it's over it does not mean that but only that you'll need to take action to make sure that it makes it through any difficulties. So try to talk about how you're feeling. That's your best bet. If you're looking for a relationship first, get very, very clear on exactly who you are looking for and then get out there, socialize whether that's online or by allowing friends to introduce you to someone that could be right for you. And we have this card here with the Four of Wands. Now, when it comes to love, this card, it can indicate that your relationship is about to become a whole lot more committed. Now, up to and including possible marriage. 
So if you're looking for love, it shows that special events like wedding, bar, mitzvahs, commitment ceremonies, things of that type of nature, they are a good place to meet someone now. Once again, if you're looking for love, just keep that in mind. So if you are invited to something like this and you're single, make sure to go. And this is your present. Now with these two cards paired together, the Wheel of Fortune is letting you know that if you're already in a relationship, it's time to renegotiate. Possible, it's possible the old way of doing things with your partner, uh, it needs to be updated just to get it to continue to work and talk about how you're feeling and that's going to be your best bet. And if you're looking for someone, you need to make sure of the type of person you're looking for and introduce yourself to different people and let your friends know that you're available. And because this card is paired with the Four of Wands, while you're looking for someone, don't forget that places like bar mitzvahs, commitments, ceremonies, weddings, they're all great type of places to meet someone special right now. So if you get those type of invitations, make sure you go to them. And that's your present. Now we move on to the challenge. The three of pinnacles. Now, but just by looking at the picture in this card, you can automatically instantly tell that it's a good card in the tarot particularly if you already know someone that you're interested in now this tells you that they see you in a positive way they see you in a very positive light as someone who has the qualities that they're looking for although love has not quite developed yet so there is a need for patience at this time with this person or the new person that you'll meet. And if you're not attached but looking for love, this card it can indicate that you're more than likely to meet someone through friends, through work, or through theirs. So keep your eyes open. And we have this card paired with the Five of Cups. Now, a love relationship. You are in may have just ended. Or maybe about to start the process of ending. So, you need to realize that all is not lost. You're probably not yet ready to move into a new relationship at this time. So give yourself some time and space, then get back out there. There will come a day when you realize that the reason this relationship ended was to get you to a place where you really need it to be, which is in a relationship that really works for you and works well. And with these two cards paired together, the Three of Pentacles is letting you know that someone you're interested in, they see you in a very positive way, in a positive light, but it's going to need patience to develop. And this person could be coming your way or it could be someone that you already know. And then it's paired with the Five of Cups. Uh, you could have just ended a relationship or the one that you're in may not be working the way that you 
hoped it would work out. And so uh, you're headed for a time that uh, someone new could come into your life with the Three of Pentacles. And it's pointing you in a direction that you really need to be in at this time. And that's going to be your challenge. And then we move on to the outcome, the Knight of Wands. Now, with the Knight of Wands, you could meet someone new through friends, family, a work type situation. Now, this new person is showing in the picture that they could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it does not have to be that way. So if you're already committed, be sure that your communication is as clear as it can be. Make it a point to make time to just talk to each other. This will definitely improve your feelings of closeness in a very big way. And then we have this card paired with the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the, with regard to love, the Knight of Pentacles... It points to the responsibility and duty that is a part of any love relationship. Just remember that love is not all wine and roses. Because true love is willingness to work together to get through any rough spots and to work on the relationship. How well are you meeting your responsibilities? That's the question that you should ask yourself. So if you are looking for love, when this card shows up in a reading, it's a clear signal that you need to vary your routine and try new things if you want to meet someone. Because more than likely your, your normal search for love, it leaves something to be desired. And with these two cards paired together, the Knight of Wands is letting, letting you know that it's a good time or it's very possible that you could meet someone through family, friends, or maybe at work. And if you're already in a committed relationship, you just need to make sure the communication is as clear as it can be. That's going to be the key here. And because it's paired with a Knight of Pentacles, if you're looking for love, it's just, it's just letting you know you need to mix up the way or change up the way that you put yourself out there and search for love so the way you're looking for love now it just needs to be revamped and if you're in a relationship you just need to communicate more to make it work better for you because we all know that love is not all wine and roses and once again that's your outcome so Capricorn, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you like to do. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.